Dubbed the People's March, the Karani Central MP's march against crime in his constituency started from Freeport and ended in Shakona's. MP Botuari stopped at both the Freeport and Shagona's police stations to deliver letters to authorities there with some crime recommendations. Get people to stand up on their own behalf for all the criminal activity that has been going on in Central Trinidad and in particular in my constituency, Kyrene Central. And people's homes have been invaded, temples and churches have been invaded, uh, people have been assaulted by criminal elements and this is really a protest against what is happening to us, a stand against victimhood and we want all of Trinidad and Tobago to be safe. The crime situation is very bad, the murder numbers are horrendous and we see only inaction from the governmental authorities that are in charge of national security and therefore we protest against this and we take a stand on behalf of the people. Among the recommendations the Karani Central MP had for dealing with crime in his constituency, greater patrols by police, including joint patrols with the police and army. We certainly want the central police stations to be strengthened, both in manpower and in mobility and in communication resources. Secondly, we want effectively managed and deployed police stations so that the communities can have regular patrols both on foot and in cars. MP Tiwari is therefore calling on the Minister of National Security to visit the Karani Central constituency to hear firsthand how badly the rise in crime is affecting constituents. I want to let you know that this is the beginning of a fight back by the communities to take over their communities. We are not going to allow the criminals of this country to invade our homes, invade our churches, invade our temples, invade our mass to be able to run roughshod over the community and treat the community as if they were stray dogs in their own community. We are not going to allow that. And when we stand together, we will be able to build a formidable community force to be able to work with the police in a constructive way. I want to thank the police for their support this morning. Senior Superintendent Balram and his entire crew have come out here in support of this march and to show that there are good police in the community, that they are willing to stand with the community and that they want community support to deal with the criminals. And I want to ask you, will you stand with the police who are cleaning up the place? Are you going to stand against the criminals? Are you going to stand up for yourself? Are you going to be strong and courageous and not allow criminals to overrun your home and your community, your churches, your temples, your mosques, and stand up for Trinidad and Tobago. So we are going to do these things. We have just talked to the Freeport Police. We want support for the Freeport Police. We want greater resources. We want better deployment. We want them in the communities in car patrols as well as foot patrols and we want the communities to be protected. So I am asking you, let us work with the police against the criminals. Let the police work with us against the criminals and let, the, let us keep the criminals at bay. Thank you very much. Let's continue the march. Oh, 
नैन्द्रो बृदस्वाह स्वस्ते न पुखा विश्व देवाह स्वस्ते न वंत्राचरिष नेमी I don't want you think to think that we made you walk this hard road and it is over. The police walked with us, they protected us here today. They looked after us. They were with us in partnership. Okay. And thank you very much for everything. They were with us in unity. Okay. And we want that extended now to the rest of the community for the rest of the time. The I want to commend and congratulate you on your courage. Do you know that you walked seven miles or about eleven kilometers today? You did that. Give yourself a round of applause. I want to thank you for standing up on your own behalf and behalf of your families and your communities. We thought that it would rain. It did not rain. The shower may come when we are. We thought that the sun would be very hot. It wasn't very hot. Would you say that this march, this people's march, has been blessed? Yes. Yeah. So. We are not only about marching. We are not only about protesting. We are also about solutions, and we want you to appreciate that. And we will continue to be constructive. Pride is not welcome in our community. Pride is not welcome in the ball of supporters. And today, as we start this initiative by Dr. Tiwari, don't just beat it only today, but let us. Also, in our mind, continue to walk, continue to find the elusive solution to make sure that our families are safe, our communities are safe, and contributing to make Trinidad and Tobago a safe place for all of us to live. Citizenship means nothing if you cannot live in peace, and if you cannot enjoy the fruits of your labor, and if you can enjoy, cannot enjoy family life and family time and community life and community time, and if you can have some measure of happiness in your home and your community. The government must have respect for citizenship, and the government must therefore act to protect the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you.